In this video, I want to discuss the concept of traversing a singly linked list from the application class. Before we start with that, let's just look at the code for a normal array list or a list using an array list where we have the concept of get getting something at a specific position. Uh, you'll remember that an array list is called a direct access list. You can go to an exact position and fetch something there. The way that a singly linked list is structured, if you want to go to the element at position 4, for example, you will have to start at the head and then traverse until you get to the fourth element. So therefore, a singly linked list is called a linear access list. You can't jump to an exact position, you've got to go from the front. So this concept of getting something at a specific position does not work in a singly linked list. So we have an alternative way of doing this and traversing the list from the outside. So in this video, I will be focusing on the method at the bottom that traverses the list from the outside. But before we get to, the, to it, we need to look at specific methods that we need to implement inside the list. So in order to allow us to traverse a singly linked list from the outside or from the application class, uh, inside the list, a private attribute is created called current pointer. It will always be pointing to one of the nodes in the singly linked list, or it could be null. So the first method that uses current pointer is the method reset. Notice all these methods we're referring to now are public. And the method reset simply just points current pointer to head. Then we have the method called current student. In broad terms, current student returns the student that is linked to the node that's pointed to by current pointer. So in this scenario, current pointer is pointing to head, so current student will return student Zwei. Notice that if current pointer is null, then current student will also return a null. But it will always return the student that's linked to current pointer. The method next simply moves current pointer along. So at the moment current pointer is pointing to head and therefore it needs to move on and when this if statement is applied the following happens. So current pointer now moves to the next node. Okay, so let's start traversing the list from the application class inside method display sll. So the first method that's called is list.reset and remember what that does inside, it has current pointer pointing to head. What does the while loop do? The while loop says while current student is not null. That simply also means while current pointer is not null. So we st if we're still busy going through the list, the while loop will be, the condition will be true. So currently current pointer points to the first uh, node in the linked list. So while the while condition is true. So remember what current student does. It returns the student linked to the current pointer. So in this case, if we say list.currentstudent.display, we will be displaying the name of Zwei. So Zwei is displayed on the screen. So when we say list.next, it moves current pointer to the next node. We are back in the while loop, which says, is current student not null? Because current pointer points to the second node, current student will still not be null, so the condition is true. So this command displays the current student, which is the student linked to current pointer, so John will be displayed. We call list.next, that moves current pointer to the third node in the singly linked list. Because current pointer is still not pointing to null, but pointing to the third node, the while condition at this stage is still true. And current student's name is displayed, and current student is linked to current pointer, so in this case, Peter is displayed on the screen. List.next now says uh, current pointer must point to the next pointer. In this case, it's null. So current pointer now takes on the value of null. So because current pointer is null, 
list.currentStudent will also be null, therefore the while condition becomes false and the loop terminates and that is the end of the method.